Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing in detail about the client tier. First we'll be seeing the basic three tier architecture details which we have already seen in the previous lesson as well. Then we'll move on to understanding the client tier in detail. Then we'll also see what is forms client applet and JRE. Once that is done, we'll see what is the Java plugin and what is the Java web start. As we have seen in the previous lesson, Oracle Business Suite is basically a three tier architecture which has basically the client tier, application tier and the database tier. We have seen already the, the definitions of what is a tier, server, node and we also have understood basically different topologies or different deployments of eBusiness Suite in real time. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on the client tier. As you can see here, a client tier is also basically called as a desktop tier. This is nothing but the end user systems which are used to access the Oracle in a suite. The client tier basically needs a simple web browser and a JRE software to access the eBusiness suite application. The users, once they log in, they can access two types of applications. One is either HTML based application or forms based application. The HTML based application is a very straightforward way to access, which means the user logs in into the eBusiness suite with username and password when prompted. And then if he's requesting a simple HTML based application such as OAF page or any JSP pages, the web server basically listens to the request and it will send back the requested web pages or HTML based applications to the user. But in case if the user requests a form, then it will be there are two, two ways in which the forms can be accessed. The forms can be accessed either via a Java plugin or Java web start. In the previous lessons already we have seen what is a form and how the user accesses a form, how the user logs in into our clips in a suite and how to access a form. So now in this lesson we'll be seeing what is forms client applet and what is JRE and also what is Java plugin and Java web start. So first let's start with forms client applet and JRE. Whenever the user clicks on any form based application in the eBusiness Suite portal, the request goes to the middle tier that is the application tier. And what happens is a simple applet which is called a forms client applet is launched in your browser. And this applet will be responsible for downloading all the jar files which are called the Java archive files from the application tier. And these jar files basically contain all the classes that are required to run the forms. In order to run this Java based applications that is forms and in order to launch your forms client applet, you'll be requiring a JRE software installed in your client system. Remember always to check my Oracle support for the certified JRE versions for your specific eBusiness Suite technology stack and also based on the browsers that are certified. Once all the jar files are downloaded, the form can be opened successfully. And remember that these jar files, when they are requested for the first time from the client, that is if a specific form is requested to be opened for the first time, all these jar files will be downloaded and basically they will be cached at the client system. So the next time when the user is requesting the same form, if the jar files are already in the cache in your Windows system, that is the client desktop or laptop, it will be faster to retrieve the form faster to open the form because the jar files are already downloaded once. So this is how basically a forms client applet works. Now, now we understood about the forms client applet. Remember this forms client applet, basically the forms client applet basically runs with the help of something called Java plugin. If you want to use the forms client applet and basically you have to make sure that the Java plugin is first configured. In order to open forms, as I told before, there are two ways. One is either you use Java plugin or use something called Java Web Start. Java Web Start has basically started, uh, it has been certified in 2017. And even now, most of the customers are still using Java plugin. The major disadvantage of using Java plugin is that whenever you're trying to download all the jar files and open the applications using forms client applet, the biggest problem is that this plugin should be installed 
in the browser and the there are several browser versions which are not certified and the biggest disadvantage is that there are very limited number of browsers that are certified and the versions that are certified there's a heavy dependency on the browsers that have to be used in order to open the oracle business suite forms this is one of the biggest disadvantages of using java plugin and this has been used since the beginning of the business suite and only specific browser versions as i told are actually certified to use the plugin for example only specific versions of ie firefox and chrome and still even though you use certified versions sometimes the user face it face some difficulties to configure the plugin and successfully open the forms so the main disadvantages of using java plugin are heavy dependence on certified browsers and users often face plugin issues as i told and remember that this plugin method of accessing forms will be disupported very soon the newly certified or basically it has been certified in 2017 is the java web start the java web start is future of accessing oracle forms in ebusiness suite and to open forms using java web start what you require is simple gre software there is no dependency on the browser that has to be that will be used in order to open the forms whenever the user is is basically going to click on a form if you are using java web start it will basically download a jnpl file jnlp file and this jnlp file when you click on it it basically will use java web start launcher which is part of your jre software and it will directly communicate with the ebusiness suite forms and it will open the forms so the biggest advantage of this java web start is there is no dependency of any browsers or any plugins so it is very simple and straightforward method and this is going to be the only option in coming years for accessing oracle forms if your environment is currently using java plugin to access forms it is highly recommended to configure the java web start